Calvin, welcome to the Silver Lake Stadium. What does it mean to you to be the new manager of Eastleigh Football Club? Um, yeah, it's a it's a big deal. I'm I'm excited. Um, it kind of came unexpected, unexpected timings. Um, so yeah, thrilled to be here. Thrilled to sort of get in the environment and start to see the club from the inside. Um, and looking forward. Yeah, um, you're well known around this area of Hampshire from your time at Southampton. What are some of your favourite memories from your time with the Saints? Whew. Yeah, there was a there was a lot of a lot of happy times, a lot of happy moments. Um, obviously, a couple of promotions and um, uh, you know, the the paint trophy was a was a big Wembley Wembley Day Wembley Day for the families and everyone connected with the club. Um, so yeah, some some good times and as you say, I know the area. I've been down here a few times to watch games. Um, it's always been a, a, by its nature of the area, it's been a second club for me. I've come down to to watch a few games and bring the kids down and spend a bit of time. So it's 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 funny how the the football gods work. Sometimes I've ended up uh, you know, on the coaching path and it's brought me here, which I'm I'm really excited about. Yeah, and what was it that attracted you to Eastleigh? Um, well. I was. It's not a difficult question. I'm making it more difficult than what it is. Um, there was lots of reasons. Um, you know, I've obviously been out of work for a, a little while, um, and I've highlighted two or three clubs that I think would suit me and my style. Um, and Eastleigh was one of them. And obviously, to, to have the interest and have the call, have the opportunity. Um, yeah, really happy that uh, you know it's a it's a a turn of events that I'm, I'm really excited about. Yeah, in regards to philosophies and styles, a lot of managers have different philosophies and styles. What can the supporters expect from a Kelvin Davis side? Um, first of all, I want, I want players to enjoy playing football. I want them to turn up and be excited about the working day. Um, I've had meetings with the players. Um, we've spoken in training today. Uh, there's been fantastic buy-in from the boys. Um, you know, I like to have the football, I like energy, um, and I like to play a brand of football that is that is exciting and gets fans wanting to watch the game. Um, so, you know, I would have thought many coaches, managers have had ideas, and you know, we'll see how that works out. It's going to take a bit of time um, to really get the brand of what I'm after across, um, but we know. It's a it's a short term contract, um, but if the if the players and the staff and everyone at the club um, buy into what we're trying to do, um, you know, hopefully it'll be a longer term deal, um, and we can sort of push on and look for the future earlier. If that makes sense. Yeah, you mentioned the first training session this morning. Um, how was it meeting everyone, and what sort of quality have you seen in training from the players? Um, I'm I'm not surprised. There's some experienced pros in there. Um, the quality was there. We put on a session that we felt uh, the players could get a little bit of development and a little bit of um, focus on, on the game because uh, we've got a short turnaround, as you know. Um, and as I say, the, the players were completely on board, um, attentive, attentive um, and I think they, they understand the, our intentions and, and what we want. Um, like I say, from a short space of time, it's trying to get those messages across clearly and precise as you can. Um, and then tomorrow's a, another day and we'll see where we are. Yeah, you mentioned tomorrow, you're straight into action. Well, it's the first game under your charge. Um, it's, a, it's a way to Oxford City. What sort of test are you expecting from that game and, and from Oxford? Well, you know, the league table is the league table um, and form is form. Um, it'd be... A game that I think, uh, you know, with the the environment they're playing in, with the artificial pitch, um, it'll be an interesting encounter. Um, they like to have the football, um, so we'll, you know, we're set up in a in a way that we can kind of can try and counteract that, put our brand on on the game, um, you know. But football's football, you know, you can't predict it. Um, all you can ask is that the the players and obviously the supporters buy into to what we're trying to achieve um, and if the players take on the messages that we've tried to put into them, um, we should have a strong performance. 
Perfect. Welcome to EC. Thanks very much.